Are we live? I think we're live. We're not screwing around today. No, uh, no intro type stuff. No pleasantries. I'm sure chat will show up here any second. But this is day three now of playing Fallout 4 without leaving the road. Oh, I totally forgot to change the actual title of my stream. Okay, so maybe we will do some uh, casual cleanup real quick. Great, of course. I'm good at this job. I swear, I know what I'm doing. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm a professional. Um, this is day three of uh, Fallout 4 without leaving the road. We have one little stipulation given our little camp is technically just very ever slightly like two or three feet off the road, but we'll figure that out later. There's chat. Hi, chat. How are you? We're skipping most of the pleasantries today and we're getting right into it because I don't have a ton of time to stream today like I have the last few days. So we're going directly in. We're going right from where we were yesterday, no hesitation. We have to go from level 13 to level 14. That's the biggest, uh, that's the biggest thing that we have to do right now. Grind our XP, level 13, get to level 14. Seriously, I want to say thank you for responding to my chat yesterday. When you started reading the Anvil attack quote thank out you, loud into the comment, it <laughs> truly made my evening. I was having a bit of a tough day, but you sure made it so much better. Oh no, ooh, ooh, Naverman. Well, I appreciate that. I'm always down to recant recite oblivion you, npc sir. voice lines Woo. big bad iron congratulations on 13 months your first month of the second year subscribe to the channel we're happy to have you everybody welcome to chaos lane chaos boulevard uh we have a lot of contestants here today once again the robot menace has decided to take on the scavenger union i don't know if i want to get involved but my dog does so i gotta at least get him out of there come on no 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 don't die in the just kill me Forgot to start the timer back up. Just, just kill me. Let's, let's go back to basics here. Thank you, Mr. Gutsy. Uh, hail Sithis. Thank you for four months. Sonny, what's going on with you? Are we still having street? So I actually did have a uh, little update on that whole situation. Um, I did have a technician come out. He looked at a couple of things. Switched out a lot of equipment uh, that was pretty old and left me with hopefully some more consistent stuff that can help, I guess, brute force or any of the high traffic moments that might cause some dips for us. That's my hope right now. Okay, screw Chaos Boulevard. If I have to fight, if I have to fight on that road one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. Let's try... I'm trying to think of places we haven't explored a ton yet. Let's go over here to the regional office. I want to avoid West Everett Estates because it's chock full of super mutants I don't want to fight. Let's go over here to the regional office and check south of the Everett Estates. Check around these roads. Maybe there's some encounters we haven't found. Take out a couple enemies. And inch our way closer to level 14. That's our big goal right now. By the end of this stream... I want to be level 14. I want to have some good economy gameplay going at our little setup. We're going to have to probably spend some time on the camp, but first and foremost, level 14. And I already hear people screaming. They're so excited to greet me. What'd you find? What'd you get? It better be good. Grab anything useful. Dig through the trash, dog. Ooh, trash dog found drugs. Thank you. That's like 30 bucks. Try, currently at work trying to get some late fees reversed, but can't get to a... Oh, that's how it always goes. That's been my experience the last couple days trying to... Uh, actually, I can't be too harsh. I was able to get on the phone with the human quite a few times. But that initial setup where you have to go through the robot and it asks you those questions that you already know the answer to, the worst. Press 1 for internet. Press 2 for mobile phone. Press 3 for television and television services. Press 4 if you would like to speak to a representative. Press 5 if your wife has left you and you find yourself suddenly craving the connection that you once had with a person who is no longer in your life. But then you forget which one you actually needed, so you have to go through the options again just to make sure. 
Can we get in here? Nice. I love parking lots. Parking lots just make me feel so free and open to explore. Irish pride. I've got some Irish in me. Not a ton, but I think some. I think. Does anyone have the number for Capital One customer service? I don't. Not off the top of my head. Okay, this road needs some cleanup. I've seen a lot of road in my days, and this is a disaster. We got giant, I mean, that is a deadly sized pothole. Junk strewn all throughout the street, cut down trees, loose branches. It's got a scenic billboard, so this isn't a terrible stretch of road just because it's got some visual flair to it. Oh my gosh, uh, never mind. Zero out of 10. Your road sucks. Ooh, one sec. I gotta close. I gotta close my door real quick. Is jumping on top of a car leaving the road? It is not. That's not bad advice, Biscuit. Usually I just will say agent. I'll be like, agent, would you like to speak to a rep? Okay, okay, all right. I'm talking to my chat about customer service. Holy shit, since when are iBots this mobile? Ah, uh, just use like 40 rounds on one. I would wait, but we found a tuxedo. All is well. We could take this road. I want to, is this the road that's covered in landmines? Or have I, have I already passed the bridge covered in landmines? Look, I think even a professional Valorant player would have had trouble tracking that iBot. Maybe I just need to get into aim lab, run some drills, get my skill back. Is that a person? No, it's just a piece of metal attached to the truck. But this isn't a bad idea. Ooh. I wonder how much of this quest we could get done. That's a person. Thank you, Karen, sir. Hi, Juve. I have not been watching lately, but I'm here now. Kanarin, how could you? How could you leave us? How could that miss? Good to see you again, Kanarin. Hope you've been well. Oh, whoa, whoa. What is it with dogs? Why are the road dogs so goddamn good? I keep writing the dogs off like they're not going to one shot kill me. That's like the third or fourth time. They just hold their reticle at head level. That's a good point. Is this the right? Yeah, this is the right save. Damn. Now I wish I, I wish we did have a death counter. I'll have to keep track of the deaths when I go through the footage so that in the final video we could have one. Can you enter good neighbor? We can. I don't know why I haven't gone to good neighbor yet, though. And now that I think about it, I should probably try to get there at some point. I don't know if I'd be able to use any of the vendors. They do have a chemistry station. They have some dialogue, not a whole lot, but we'd be able to get in there for sure. Oh God, do I have to go all the way back around the way I came? No, we should be able to get on this truck. Come on. 
There you go. Oh, shit. Literally the fight we just lost. Except now we don't get sneak attacks. Over there, get into position. On him. Could you be any more useless, dog? Okay, this is a really fucking shitty start. <laughs> what a terrible start. Long time VOD lurker, first time live lurker. Good to see you, Bezter. Okay, all right. Let's readjust. I need to get my sniper rifle. Get, stop. Yeah, we, we still have 16 rounds with it, so I gotta hold on to it. Laser rifle will ditch for now. Shotguns will ditch. Spray and pray I'm always gonna hold on to. Let's get the sniper. Throw it in there. Let's do some stealth stuff. Take out this little bastard. Now I have a vendetta. Sick and tired of this douche. I just want to get to 14. Dying makes getting to 14 more difficult. Longtime VOD channel viewer finally sees lesser juve. Is it worse over here, Bronze? I appreciate you stopping by regardless. Whether you're on the VOD channel or you're over here, we appreciate you. Say hi to the VOD channel right now. Are we going to have a bet this time? Um, we'll see. I'm sure at some point we'll gamble on something. Yes, Z-Man, this is the Rhodes challenge. Challenge. They're not really... They're more experiments, I guess, than they are... Challenges? Thank you, kind sir. Against the ads. Sonny, I appreciate that. Thank you for three months in a row. Five months in total. Okay, this dog is pissed. Worth every septum. Wait, do Lurking I have a... because trash game dead by daylight anniversary is out, but mad love to the second channel watchers. Vod enjoy a supremacy. How did he run past that? Back off. All right, dog down. Dog down. We just got to take care of the sniper. Suplivius, how are you? Thank you for 200 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you, kind sir. Deathbed's good to see you again. 17 months. Wow. Thank you. Okay, this guy's right by us. I want to go with the under truck strategy. It just feels really Jason Bourne to shoot him from below the truck trailer. Wait, can I just sneak right under it? Oh, there's so much fighting going on, and I'm missing it. Only a fucking coward hides. I really hate how they just have to insult my entire being. You could hide? Wait, hold on. Dog, don't, don't, don't attack him directly. Oh my god, the truck's gonna explode. Hey, boy! Over here. Hey, boy! Over here. Not enough to kill him? This asshole's really gonna make me go around the long way. Oh, never mind. There's a shortcut right here. I can see a Mr. Handy across the way. That might have been where all the other fighting was. See him zooming around? He's in combat mode. Okay, now he should be right around this corner here. Oh, wait, what? how the hell did he get around? <laughs> Give me 
Come on, one more. Of course. <gasps> Good finish. He almost had me too. <clears throat> Jeez, it's never easy. And now I have to use my one dog reviving syringe. Still thirsty. Still parched. Hey, well, I drank an entire bottle of water this morning and I, I was I was feeling good. Like that was more than enough water for me going through the whole water bottle. Although now that I think about it, I'm a little bit thirsty. Of the blue team, we're not talking. <clears throat> this is the new accusation I have to fight off in every single stream now that I'm a, a, a blue team arena supporter. It's yellow. Okay, I've made it very clear. This is road. Yeah, this is road. Pretty useful because the toolboxes sometimes have useful things like drugs and we love drugs on this channel. They're good for our personal economy. Self-hating yellow team supporter here. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna play Oblivion. Okay. Oh, what? This is devastating. Literally 1984. They've cut me off. We have to find a new route around. I want to explore this area. Thank should... you, Khan, sir. Didn't realize auto renew was on. He'll check back in a month. <laughs> Turd sandwich, thank you. Is is it um Were you were you trying to remove auto renew? Regardless, ooh, empty milk bottle. We need to focus on getting some empty bottles if we can because I want to start my ramen noodle empire. Empty milk bottle. Risky business over here. We just took out a fairly tough bandit. Someone's here. Oh, they're asleep. Is it still ethical to kill a zombie if it's in the middle of a nap? There's no way this hits, right? There is a small percentage chance that it hits. That one's dead. Don't think I can get up there. Hey. See if they got anything. See if he had anything worth taking. Come on, bring a stim pack. Ammo? At a boy. Nice find. All right, it was only 6 rounds. Nothing crazy, but it's something. It's cash. Ooh, here we go. Medical box. Come here, boy. Where does this little mutt get off to? Hey. Grab anything? Check it out. Oh, right away. Huge. All right, let's see. Check it again. See if there's anything there. I like right away because it can sell for a good amount. I'm hoping we get... All right, Stimpak. There you go. Now I can revive my dog if he goes down. We're starting to become a way better team. Like, I'm, I'm getting better at targeting things for him to sh uh, search. I eat at Juve's nudes. That actually kind of has a little bit of a flow to it. I don't hate that name. Lunchbox? Hey. Take anything good. Probably a uh, crispy squirrel bits or iguana on a... Oh my god, or a giant watermelon. <laughs> Grab that. Let's see what else we got in the lunch pail. Beer bottle? Oh, wait, okay, this is like exactly what I need. No, nah, it's just regular beer. Hey, if I drink it, do I get, get the that. bottle? Let's drink it. Do I get the empty bottle? 
No, that's kind right. of a bummer. Pick that up. Nothing. Uh oh. Mandy Styles, Davies, and a scavenger. Close enough to the road to initiate conversation. Hello. This is our claim. Clear out, Civvy. Sit. What? I'm no civilian. I'm a matron. I'm the uh, um, the matron d. I'm the um. I don't remember what position I gave myself, but I own this road. It's mine. I'm laying claim to it. Maybe the others will talk. They're too far away for me to talk to them. I can't go like onto the brick path. It's too far away. It's just out of wait a minute. But that's road. No, we can't count that. The road stops here. Although given our previous classifications of road, this is a really oof. This is a really tough one. This is as on the fence as it gets. No one understands my mission. That's why they're all cruel to me. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing free war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment. 2nd Battalion. You're damn right. Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army. What do they say if it's Nora? In our hour of need? Depending on what you need, I may be able to help. The fire wind holds true, then. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. Not the double quick, sir. See, unfortunately, we can't get up there. We can start the quest. That's about as far as we can take this one. Oh, this road is just in such bad shape. It's really a shame. Seeing this beautiful stretch of pavement just be desecrated like this with a, a nautical car. Ugh. It's got pretty cool engines, though. I'm not a car guy, but those probably have at least like 12 horsepower. Okay, refocus. Refocus, level 14. We got to get some XP. And I certainly don't want to die here. Maybe we can find some unlucky cats. There we go. Scanning. Scanning for potential victims. I found you. Congratulations, sir. You are today's winner of one 308 round to the back of the skull. Was that my bullet landing on the ground? That was kind of a cool sound. What are you sniffing at over there? Oh, something. Oh, I see movement. Target spotted. We've got two of them. One scum, one plane. Let's wait for our target. Reposition, see if we can get a better angle here. They're just inside this doorway. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I was just as hair, uh, as a hair too late. Right there, they're right in these little windows. We got a hit, but he's not dead. There he is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Right, get right back in that little window slit. Oh my gosh, no, I got anxious. Okay, let's let our AP get back. Come on, come on, come on. I know your AI brain has to make you return back to this spot. It's going to force you. Maybe not in the next five seconds, but within the next minute, at the very least, he's going to show up to this window. Throw throwing knives would be sweet. How patient can I be? Uh. 
Looks like we lost him. I wonder if those gunshots I'm hearing right now, if those are just sound effects or if it's an actual fight going on. Most of the time we've heard all that, it's been an actual fight. All right, if we take this road straight, it's gonna get really, really hairy, really fast. But we are gonna get close to good neighbor. Only have nine shots. It's probably best if we just try and scan slowly. Pick off a couple targets, get back home and lock in our progress. I think we're gonna head, let's actually head back to where we sniped those bandits. One of them was a raider scum, one was a plain raider. Shouldn't be too difficult. And the ones that we killed looked fairly close to the road. Maybe we can loot them. Or at least have our dog loot them. Can't go that way. Don't go down, pup. I knew he was going down. We gotta get rid of this gun at some point. Not like, I mean... We don't have to get rid of it, but just make it obsolete or at least get to the point where we're stockpiling so much 38 ammo we can go fully auto. I can't get you right there. I feel bad. I feel so bad. I don't I've never felt good once leaving him behind to just whimper in pain. Also, it's a pretty decent resource cost when he goes down, because we have to fast travel all the way to Red Rocket to get him back. Which, that fast traveling to Red Rocket and then all the way back downtown, it's starting to eat up a lot of our resources. Because we get really tired, we get really thirsty, we get hungry. Old North Church. This is all still legal road. It's getting really hard to tell, though. I want, uh, I want to get up top here. Come on. Ugh. God damn it. <laughs> get on the... There we go. Okay. Would I be offended if you fell asleep on your couch while watching? I might stop fighting it. I would be so livid. Absolutely unacceptable behavior. Mods, can we get a warning on this chatter? Keep an eye out on them. You're causing some trouble. They're uh, they're encouraging sleeping during the... No, I don't care. If you fall asleep during any of the streams or on the VOD channel, uh, if anything, I appreciate that. Because the... He starts ripping fully auto. Oh, he's one hit. What? Gave your position away. Still in danger. Where's this last one? Or two? Oh, you know what? They're going to be right around this corner to my left, in the alleyway. Right down there. Got one of them. Oh, 
over encumbered already? I must have come out here with more loot than I planned. Don't need dog armor. Already got it. Yeah, they're right in this alleyway. There's quite a few. Let's just guarantee we win this fight. Wow, this thing is really overpowered. Come on. Poke your cute little raider head out. <gasps> no! Oh, you bastards! They've blocked me off with a tactical curb of defense. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm alive. They aren't. Ammo. Molotov. Beautiful. Okay, let's get our dog back. First, let's get back home and drop off all this shit. We'll get our dog back. You just uncovered my untapped lullaby business. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I watched... Uh, I remember I was watching a really long... It was like an hour and a half video that Mickey D did on Oblivion. And there were like two or three separate nights where I like threw that on super late. And I was very much enjoying it, but the comfort of some casual Elder Scrolls content was like, oh, wait, hold on. Some of this armor is an upgrade. I was able to knock out to it. It was very nice. And I had a great sleep, too. Oh, junk needs to go. Junk in there. Don't. What am I grabbing? I'm just grabbing shit now. Check the armor. Left arm. Uh, I think my left arm is legendary. No. Okay. So, take that. Left leg is legendary, so we'll hold on to it. Left leg again. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. It's just a buff to agility and perception. I want to have that. Leaded girded leather chest piece. This looks better than what I have. 12-5. 15. 15 radiation. 7 physical. Throw that one on. Studded leather right arm. How's our right arm? It's a buff, regardless. Small changes. It's not going to make me that much more powerful, but maybe it saves my life in a close call. All right, quick nap. Red rocket, we get our dog back. Seeing red because of those raiders. A hype chat? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what a hype chat is, but I don't have any alerts set up for hype chats. I think it's the exact same thing as a YouTube super chat, where, like, your message is just real big. Sort by damage on armor. It's a feature. Wait, what? Can you do that? I love how different the vibes are between VODs and the main... I mean, the the VODs, certainly, because what is a, a hard thing to really, like... Got work to do. Can't talk now. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you're real fucking busy over there. <laughs> I'm sure it's a real tough 9 to 5 you're pulling. Press Z. Okay, so it's press Z. Really? This is going to blow my mind if this feature is real. It's going to save me a lot of time, too. Wow. Wow. Okay, that does work. Um, so we go into armor. And we press Z. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I 
I never knew that. That's what I do love about these big sandbox games. I'm always just like learning new little things. Whether it's where a certain enemy spawns, a certain event that occurs, um, what an enemy's weakness might be, all that kind of stuff. It has been a nonstop learning process of these games. Hey! Why you gotta scream at him? I guess, yeah, he does deserve scolding for dying off the road. Come on, boy. It's time to go. All right, let's get out of here. <clears throat> nah, no point in going towards Sanctuary. Nine sniper shots, though? I bet I could get some work done. Let's check the random encounter camp. How am I fast traveling on survival? There is a there's a mod that gives you a few more features if you have survival difficulty on. Like you can turn off survival and turn survival back on if you turn it on and end up disabling it. Uh, you can fast travel. Really, the only thing that I'm using from it is the ability to fast travel. Just because this would already have been an extremely long challenge. I just like survival for... I think survival plays really well with the in-game economy. It makes you it makes you value water and food and where the hell did my dog go? Don't please do not go through the void again. It scares me. I don't want to go to the bad place. Wait, can Oh, there's a little something going on here in the road. Hold on. My dog might have found <gasps> wait. There's something happening here. Hold on. Dog meat, you may have just made an incredible scientific discovery in this road. There is a hole right here. Oh, look, this is deep. I'm sinking through the concrete. I have become Thank one you, with the road. Sir. Thank you for being you and giving us your time. Best streamer ever. Ten I think, tenths. I think you all, I should be thanking you all for giving me your time. Say, Lorez, thank you. It's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the prime. Um... But I don't know about best streamer ever. I'm biased, so I'd say top five. <laughs> no, there's a lot of great streamers, a lot of super talented people who do awesome stuff with video games. Now let's get ourselves some lunch. Mmm, I'm hungry. Legendary. Okay, oh my god, and an alpha. Okay, lots of angry dogs here. Mine is trying to go under the world. Can we stun it? Thank you, kind sir. Reminded me my prime is finally free. Dollar! Oh, woo! Oh, they're nipping at my ankles. Don't move. It's all. Now, no. Can't it's pacify okay. the legendary, but this one's pacified. Join Sick me! Em. Hey! Ooh, ooh, we need. Oh, he's on the car! Wait, why isn't the other dog joining the fight? Where did he go? There he is. Nice, now they're on my side. Oh my god, this duck's still alive. Whew. I know I've been saying this a lot. I've been saying this a lot, but I have to keep reiterating it. Once again, to all of the haters of me taking Animal Friend, you have all been proven wrong once again. Animal Friend claims victory. Oh, hell yeah. Legendary baseball bat? I noticed we dropped 150 frames. I'm keeping an eye on that. Oh, Vacker, I just noticed that. Thank you. Is that how I say that, by the way? Is it Vacker? But thank you, appreciate it for the prime. Hope you're doing well. I just think the baseball bat's one of the more satisfying melee weapons in this game. It's got a really, like the way it swings and the way there's kind of a Thank you, kind sir. First time here, really? There's, been, there's already been a few people today who are like, hey, it's my first time here. And you know what? I'm happy to have you. Here for uh, what is hopefully, hopefully we have some really chaotic and funny moments, especially as we get to a higher level and we get a bit more overpowered. 
That's why I think we'll probably end up having to split this into two videos. Two-parter? Are two-parters back on the channel? Why, why is Fallout the only one that I get two-parters out of? So I don't think we've ever done a, a part two in Skyrim, but we did Landmine. We did Landmine Survivalism. We did that twice. Shit, we could have done that one three or four times. That one is a blast. Probably the most fun I've had. Mm, it's up there in terms of how fun the gameplay of it is. Uh, we did the Glowing Sea. We did three of those. And then the fourth one is... Uh, it's MIA. <laughs> the fourth one is MIA. We'll, uh, we'll come back to that later. The fourth, the fourth Glowing Sea video is like my Half-Life 3. Oh my god, Synths. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Synth weapons could do decent damage. Let's get our sniper back. Oh shit. Okay, alright, I was supposed to sneak, but that's not gonna work. Audible, audible, don't wanna lose this legendary. Serpentine. Back and forth. Uh, can we use this car as cover, or will it explode and kill us? I got 13 shots left with Spray and Pro. Let's make him count. Proceeds to make like none of them count. Hold on, let me think this through while the garage door opens up downstairs. True, Solstheim, I guess, does have a part two. Because I've done it twice, but the first one stunk. Maybe try and get make like a super cracked play with the sniper. Do I have any jet? Yee, no jet. Time for Psycho. Water. Stop with the garage door down there. It makes my floor vibrate. Worth every septum. We gonna gamble some today? Yes, we will, Wolf. I promise there will be Gamba at some point, but I need to get out of this really stressful situation. Fucking cow! Thank you, Kaiser. Chip in! Chip in! Chip in! Mm. What's up, Synth Army? Huh? Yeah, nothing. Nothing on me. Granny Holes, thank you for the tier one. That is a wild username. <laughs> that's, that's wild. I appreciate that. Thank you. Synth Component, Institute Pistol. These are going to be able to sell for a good amount. Ooh, thank God we didn't walk forward anymore. I don't know how I survived. Because I was what? I was right here when the landmine exploded. And maybe right here when the car went off. I took no damage. That was really close. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Perfect timing. Because they cannot kill me. I'm a god. Oh, I will survive. Shame on you. I will survive. Yeah. Yeah. You know, at first, before this challenge, I was afraid. Petrified, even. Kept thinking, I could never leave without dog by my side. But then, you know, I spent some nights just thinking about how the road has done me wrong and how I'd like to take it over. And then over time, I grew strong. We learned how to get along. And I realized that I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. That's, I think, did I get all the lyrics right or did I fuck it up at all? <clears throat> um, let, me, let me check, who was that again? I appreciate that so much. Ink Demon, once again, you are very wonderful. Incredibly generous. Thank you for supporting the channel. Free food on the road. A cow is walking and he's bobbing his heads. Careful. If you don't move, he can't see you. Oh, oh, uh. He's surrounding us. 
I think he's drawing an outline of our position. Where's the drone? Thank you, kind sir. Okay, dog meat. This is how you hunt a cow effectively. This is what we call road hunting. How the fuck are you alive? Thank you, kind <laughs> sir. Stop right there. Such, no, no, and I can't pacify him. He's defiant. He's got udders made of titanium. Oh, look at that thing swinging down there. How heavy do you think that is? I feel like that should be a critical hit. Like, you know how in Fallout the heads can explode? Like, oh, <laughs> that would be so gross if the utter sack. But maybe it is a weak point. I don't know. I mean, that thing just ate a landmine. Asking the important questions. Uh, Whittles or Whittled. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate that. Uh, Sunny Gummy, thank you for gifting a tier one. And Wolfcon, thank you for the bits. I appreciate y'all. It did more damage to the road than that thing's cow wangs. One shot left. No repeat spawns over there. Let's just keep exploring this area. I'm enjoying this. This is a fun little stretch of road. Rubber bands, this is your first stream. If you just checked in, I'm really sorry, but you checked in at a time where I'm talking about uh, utter physics. I'm talking about Brahmin milkers. We're moving on, though. What would it be? Uh, this is nice. Little Unstoppables advertisement. It's not quite all the way loaded in, or maybe it's just always low res. We came by here yesterday, took out a bunch of these. They probably haven't respawned yet. But there's a ton of mole rats right there. <clears throat> Let's head up this way, see if we can discover Mystic Pines. Joined in on the utter nonsense. Seven out of ten. That was a good one. I'm just going to start grading all of chat's uh, quirky responses. And then I'll put like little notes in the footage of whenever I say 10 out of 10, and then I'll steal that joke. Come on. Come on, discover. Ugh. Can I like reach my arm out and get it in zone to discover it? This is actually tragic. This is so tragic. I just, I want you on my map. I want you on my map, but I can't have you. It's like a really fun accomplishment as we go through this challenge, discovering more and more places on the map. So this one being just out of reach is kind of heartbreaking. Feels like I've lost something. Are we going to make this into a video? Yes, Deckel, we will. The more I play this, the more I'm having fun with it. Like, first stream was fun. Second stream was even more fun. This one I'm having a really good time with. Why does that thing not die? Okay. I was a little overconfident. Just a tad overconfident there. Ooh, this is all... Nah, that kind of looks like a little patch of lawn. This map blurs the lines so much more than Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas did on what is an actual Thank road. Thank you, kind sir. Granny Holes, I appreciate that. Thank you for the tier one. Overconfidence is a slow incident. Whenever I say overconfidence or I talk about me getting cocky in game, I always think about that Simpsons episode where they it's um, they're making fun of standardized testing. And Lisa has a question on her standardized test where it's. I forgot the name of this type of question, but it's pride. The question she gets pride is to downfall as overconfidence is to. Uh, and then it's a bunch of words that are synonyms of downfall. 
but I think each one is pretty much the right answer. Or they're all very close to being the right answer. Is it a simile? Is that what that type of question is? Wait, you don't think what's a road? Oh, where I was before? That was a parking lot. I'm my own referee, all right? I got the final say. Vault Tech t-shirt? Does this take away my armor? <gasps> oh, that's actually kind of cool. I can wear the armor over it. I would wear this shirt. That's a sweet shirt. Uh, looks like it took some of my armor off. Or no. It didn't. Still, the vault suit is the superior look. Okay, can we finally get a random encounter over here? Yes. Yes, we can. We got super mutants. One of them with a bomb. One bullet in a dream. Let's make it count. Hold on. I have one of those bullets from Wanted where I curved it. I'm just waiting for it to spin around <laughs> and hit the target. Oh, Angelina Jolie, please save me. Legendary. Lots of automatics. Ooh, taking a lot of damage already. We still have some Molotovs. Decent amount of energy cells. We need the Suicider to hit the bomb. There you go. Suicider lost his leg. Let's fall back. They got a ton of firepower. <clears throat> you guys remember when... Uh, they first showed off Starfield, and <laughs> for some reason, the first gun they ever decided to show off in Starfield while making an impression was literally this fucker. It was, it was like, very similar to the Institute handgun slash rifle. But in the last one that they did, they showed the guns looked way, way, way cooler. Like, why did you have to start off with the box one? No one likes the box. Ooh, this is tough. Okay, so pipe rifle is a little bit more damage than the Institute pistol. We're out of sniper ammo. We got three Molotovs. Am I gonna land this? Oh, they have so many automatics. Oh, we gotta be careful. Now I'm in trouble. Gotta take the stim pack. Razor grain. How much razor grain do I need to eat? Oh my god, I'm still hungry. Snack cakes? Gum? Melon? There we go, now I'm well fed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! The further away we get, the less damage they do, but I want that legendary. Okay, we got a lot more space here. Damn, they are pushing quick. Oh shit! Oh my god, stop! Why does everything I take cover with have to explode? Hold on, let's run back, boy. Maybe they push into that exploding car. Or that one, that one could explode too. Okay, maybe domino effect killed them all? I don't want to push in there yet. Oh no, they are still alive. Maybe we can lead them this way. There's the legendary. He might be the only one. Okay, let's try and lead him down this narrow alleyway because that car will explode. Hey, move here. Head over there. Hop over here, bud. Wait there. Oh, I don't have a lot of cover here. Come on, hit the car. Car's gonna explode. Come on. Come on. Come on, car. Not as much damage as I need, but it was a good amount. We took out the we took out the bandits that are up there. Here. Come back here, puppy.
Oh my god, actual boss encounter, man. Okay, time out. I'm just eating wheat. Literally just pure grain so I can heal. Let's try and rotate around. That counts as road. All right, I touched the curb. That doesn't mean death. Something else might be shooting at them. Yeah, sounds like a turret. Shit, there's his friends. Car over there's gonna blow up. Thank God, one of them's down. Okay, more grain. Little did I know razor grain would save the day. I want that legendary though, that's gotta be my kill. Shit, we almost have him down. Attaboy dog meat, way to distract. Okay, he did reset his health. I gotta get mine back though. It goes up so slowly with the grains. We'll do a flank. Car right here we could use. Oh, my health is going up so damn slow. Thank you, Kai. Come on now. It hit the epic part of the song. I thought I would have won the fight by now. Ooh, what's that? Armor piercing automatic. Whew. Where are you, motherfucker? I got all the ammo I need, bitch. Maybe I need more. I can hear him. Where are you? Damn it. Would have been cool if I found the automatic gun right when the epic part of the song hit. <laughs> it would have been awesome timing. We'll edit it in post. It'd be funny if none of you could hear that, and if the stream deck broke. There he is, he's walking away. See, an automatic means I have to press the offensive, which is scary. One full auto burst, and I think this guy could kill me. Let's get a, let's lock in a sneak attack at the very least. <gasps> Wait, we got sniper ammo. Why didn't anyone tell me I found sniper ammo? And I missed, <laughs> and I missed. I gotta get a sneak attack headshot on him. We have three rounds, we can do this. Not a sneak attack, but a headshot will do it. Damn close. He got some good hits on me. Okay, how much grain do I need? I'm gonna eat all my grain. I'm eating into my profits. This was supposed to be made into ramen. I don't know if it's the right idea to go with the fully automatic. Push around this corner. No way! Are you fucking serious? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh god damn. That's so, that's a tough one. You've got to be kidding me. We just lost so much progress. Fuck. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a hard pill to swallow. Sorry, chat. I, I totally, uh, I totally completely ignored chat there for a while, uh, just because that fight was a ton of fun. Oh, that was a really fun fight. That was super fun. 
Honestly, it was so fun. I'm sitting here not even that mad. I'm heartbroken. It sucks to lose, but that was a really intense battle. Something about the road just... Like, it's a lot different. If I was able to go into the buildings to use cover, or, you know, maybe I could have gone into a building, gone up the stairs, ended up on one of those little catwalks and fired down on them, throwing grenades, whatever it might be, it kind of just changed the dynamic of that gunfight and made it really fun. Trying to predict where that group is going to go. They're pushing me through the roads. That was really, really fun. And so, so pissed. Ah, uh, I lost the legendary baseball bat. I lost so much progress there. That stinks. But fuck, that was that was pretty thrilling. Can we gamble now? Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll give you a gamble. Um, uh, gruesome woodsman, thank you very much for the six months. Sorry, I missed that. Let me double check uh, any of these alerts we could have missed. Okay, I think that, I think that was just the one that I missed. Uh, but gruesome woodsman, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. How are we? It's been an hour? How has it been an hour? It felt like 15 minutes. Um, okay, so our goal is level 14. We're going to do three deaths before level 14. Or we'll do over under. Over slash under two and a half deaths before level 14. Over. Non-believer. Under. Believer. Welcome to the casino. You can now gamble your channel points. Are you a believer or a non-believer? Remember the rules. If you are a believer, I love you. I cherish you. And I'm glad that we could see eye to eye and be on the same team. I'm glad that you could support my mission of being good at this game. If you are a non-believer, I respect that you think I'm ass, but I also hate you. And I don't respect you for that. So fuck you if you're a non-believer. OK, if you're on the VOD channel and you're wondering what we're doing right now on Twitch, people accrue what are called channel points over time. It is a fake currency. It is imaginary. Uh, mine are actually called caps. And what the chat is doing right now is they are gambling. They're fake, virtual, not useful for anything other than bragging to a friend at like a party or something. Definitely go out in public and brag about how many channel points you have or don't have on my channel. But that's what we're doing. So some context if you're on the VOD channel and you're wondering, what the fuck is this and what are we doing here? Now, me, I'm in a casino from New Vegas because it fits the theme and people are gambling. Okay, so. I think I just want to, I, I want to run it back. I want to run it back. If we, uh, we're not going to run into the same encounter, our spawn point was too far away, I think, for the same random encounter to fire off. But I'll be damned if I'm not giving it a try. Alpha. Yeah, so we struck out here with the dogs. We don't have a legendary this time. Just the dogs themselves. I wish I could pacify from this distance. It's just one alpha and two wild. So we'll use the crit on that one, pacify one, incite it to attack the other. Stop right there. Freeze. This is the dog police. <laughs> this is the Paw Patrol. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Stop right there. Paw Patrol. I have an official license to uh, exfil this area. Uh, that's right. Lay down your arms. Or paws. Lay down your paws. Can I command this doggy to come over here? Oh, wait, I don't have to. Dog man. Hey, boy! Over here. Come here. I have a job for you. Bring me the flesh of your Maybe brother, dog like meat. <laughs> Rend me the flesh from your kin. Yes, dog meat. <laughs> I love how he stands there. It just covers his face. And we were very economical this way. We didn't have to waste a whole lot. Got some food. I used what? Three rounds? 
probably was a stupid idea to use my 308 rounds on shooting a neutral dog, conscientious objector. Animal friend useless. We still have people that are not believing in animal friend. That's fine. You are entitled to your opinion. I get it. I mean, I don't understand the opinion, but I will use every single opportunity to make animal friend useful. We've turned the Fallout 4 mascot into a cannibal. How could we? Should we make dog meat the thumbnail star? That's actually a pretty good idea. Like dog meat sitting here with the road out ahead of them. You know, the typical can't leave text. That could look pretty cool. All right, this is the route we took. But, oh, can I get some dirty water? Road water? I forgot about these clowns. Completely forgot about the synth battle too. Wow! We had some cool ass fights. And I blew it. Same strategy as before, nothing different. I just want a cool view of the explosion. <laughs> Look at that loser. Shit, car explosion ineffective. Get him, dog. Need a little bit of cover here. Oh, wait. That wasn't the kill shot. That's not cool. They did not do a lot of damage. Not nearly as much as I thought. I think my empty bottles are back at home. If I had my empty bottles, I could fill up right here. We need dirty water for the soup. Why we can't use purified water? I have no clue. <laughs> the dumbest thing in this game. You have to have dirty water in order to make noodle soup. Dogmate sitting in chair. I do like the sitting in chair one. Which is it? It's uh, play idle Dave 40. No, that's the one sitting at the desk. If you've ever wondered, it's Dave's idle poses that I've used for some of the thumbnails. This actually goes so fucking hard. This goes unbelievably hard sitting in the desk with a rifle in one hand. Cigarette. That's actually crazy. What about from this angle? No, nah, because then the the veil is lifted. Who is who? I wonder who's in that image. But if you could get rid of that picture that he's holding. We could try uh, Dave 41. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've never had that happen before. Get the fuck out of here. What? I've never had that happen. I use this mod all the time when I'm getting B-roll and whatnot. Can I reload my save? Usually all I have to do is hold R to pull out my weapon and put it back. No way. I actually just straight up broke my game. Wait. Oh. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Give me one sec, chat. I gotta grab something real quick. Is this a lost run? No, no way. I'm having fun with this. All right, that's all. Very quick. No, no chair. I'm trying to figure out which one was the chair idle though. Now I really want to know. Was it 30? No. 35? No, I broke my game again. 
I guess if I have my gun out, it must be different. It's not in the 50s. 49. No, that's the weird Halloween one. 28? No, that's dual pistol. 17. These are the motor... These are like the edgelord ones. These motorcycle ones. Although this could go kind of hard as well. Whoa. Okay, kind of a banger, right? Like we go... Obviously we crank the saturation, but like boom. Right here. Picture can't leave. Bam. Over the right. Over the top. This is actually kind of sick. I don't like where the sun is at, though, so I would probably have to change the time in game. All right, enough fucking around. Let's go bag ourselves some super mutants. Getting B-roll stream? No, I don't. I don't think I could. I argue with my computer far too much. I'm reciting and re-reciting any scripted dialogue banging my head against a wall Attention, please. Employment opportunities keep I love doing it I actually really enjoy it it's very satisfying when you get a shot and you're like oh yes that one like when uh, editor Isaac actually taught me this trick editor Isaac taught me a cool one so like there's this but then there's this. For some reason, what what FOV does, like a lot of times I'd be recording my B-roll with just the standard 90 FOV setting. But if you go FOV, well here, here's a fun little thing. So we're on 90, right? See how it like, it starts pushing into the character's face much sooner? If you go FOV 50, you can still capture a lot of the character's model, but the camera will be closer and you can essentially get higher quality shots of like the character model. Because if you want to do, if I did like FOV 90, I would technically be further away from the character. And their, like the detailing on their textures would be lower. Because then I would have to artificially zoom in if I wanted them to be closer to the camera. That was a super cool find. I was very excited when I found out about that. We should do a field of view 360. I don't want to break the game. No, no, no. We got to make more progress here. What are we? We're an hour and a half into the stream. Hour and 13 minutes into the stream. And I am only halfway to level 14. Let's step it up here. I need to lock in real quick because I want to make some progress. Cannot believe I lost that fight. So fucking pissed. So mad. It was so exhilarating. I'm gonna be thinking about that one. Oh, that one's that one hurts. Let's keep that turret on our side. I'm gonna keep that turret alive this time. That would have definitely won us the fight. But with this house up here being Random Encounter Central, we've done this before where we've been far away from it and then we found it. So it's probably a different encounter. I really want a rematch. Please be the Super Mutants. Same loot in there. No! Oh, it's different. It's scavengers versus raiders. I want my XP though, regardless. <laughs> 
Come on, poke your head out. That's a really nice shot. That one felt good. Yo. We got to attack the Raider Psycho. He's probably the toughest one. Take a look. Stop, dude. Go check that out. Popped a stim pack? Nice, right on the road too. Free loot. I love me some free loot. Wait there. No, don't wait there. Come on. This fucking dog. I love you, dog, but please, you're always in the way. This guy was still shooting at something. Looks like not. All right, brief change of plans since we made it through that area. OK, I'm out of XP, really not a ton of loot. We got some food. I'm going to head back home. Maybe we could try making noodle soup. I'll see how many empty bottles we have. Well, first, let's fry up this dog. Wait, what? Did I not loot the dogs? Shit. Grand opening of Juve's nudes. Seems to be growing well. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Heads up! What's going on out front? See anything, boy? Front door! We're under attack! Holy shit, I was not actually expecting something! Oh my god, they're here! Get off my front lawn! You rap scallions! I'm gonna let my dog do everything. I'm scared. <gasps> Junkyard dog for the defense! Oh, oh I'm gonna be sick. No, you don't get anything. You, if you work, you eat. It's a simple go as back. To, go back to your corner. OK, this dog is officially way more valuable to this population than you are. Go back to the pillory and stay there. That was wild. I, I was not expecting a raider to come running around the corner, just launching a Molotov at us. <laughs> the neighbors are starting to get really rowdy. They hate us. You know, they hate us because they ain't us. Oh. Whoops, forgot to start the timer again. What else is new? I stopped it earlier when I stepped away and then completely forgot to turn it back on because I'm an idiot. That's okay. It's not like this is a super serious speed run or anything like that. We're all right. It's more so just for context. Like, uh, whichever clips I use in the video, I actually think it's kind of nice. Well, I've never done it before. So we're just going to try it out. Just to see how it looks, if on the gameplay footage there is like a timer. I think it's cool to kind of just see context. How long have we actually been on the road? What time did certain things occur and whatnot? How far along were we when X happened? No, wrong. Corn can stay in there. Melons get in there. Barbary. Plenty of razor grain. All right, empty milk bottle. This is what I want. Don't have a lot of empty bottles. No beer bottles. We only have those two empty milk bottles. Let's 
pizza first. Time is it 5 p.m.? We'll go to sleep later. Nothing that I can cook. I keep sitting on here when I don't cook. How many times have I shot harmless dogs? Uh, I've shot a lot of harmful dogs. They had it coming. A lot of them attacked me. If I pacify it and then I kill it, that doesn't count. It's not the same. At that point, it's just hunting. And I'm just really good at speaking to my... Uh, I almost said victim, but that makes it sound really bad. My prey. At that point, I'm just a good hunter. Like, if somebody was hunting deer, and they were really good at just calling the deer over to them, so that they could blast it in, you know, the best place there is to reserve some of the deer's integrity, they'd be one of the best hunters of all time. No way. Oh, good save! Stalker would have done decent damage to us. Still alive. That was a really, really clutch save by dog meat. Stalkers are... Are they the second tier feral ghoul or third? I'm trying to think. The feral ghoul. What's the what's the second one? Clyde and seek, how are you? Hiya, right back to you. Okay, we need a dirty water source on the road. Can't use that. Once we find a really effective dirty water source and we're able to replenish our empty bottles really consistently. Oh, you know what we could do? If there's a way to get bulk glass, we can probably set up a junk maker or something that helps us make glass bottles. We take a shit ton of those out of our production factory and we fill them up. Or maybe there's even, maybe we don't need to do bottles. There might be some other kind of, can you use empty tin cans for dirty water? Roamer. Okay, is, is it Feral Ghoul, then Roamer, then Stalker? Am I not using the sink from the DLC? I have not. Does it give dirty water? If it gives dirty water, that's awesome. Make a drinks... Oh, a drinks vendor. That's a good idea. Well, we can until we're level 14. That's why that's our number one goal right now. Let's see, what is it? Resources, water. No sink in there. Miscellaneous? Not in there. Makes pure, ah, we don't want purified water. We can only make noodle soup with dirty water. And that's what I want. Full noodle production. Flooded tunnel nearby. Yes, you're right. Good call. Chat, I... Mm, I fucking love you. You guys are actually super effective today. Flooded tunnel. It's right over here. Can't it be an empty? I don't want the booze. I just want the bottle. Are there any non glass empty containers that can be used to create dirty water in survival mode? That is an incredibly niche question, I understand. But if there are, that's what I want to find. So now we come over here. Noodle soup. That easy. We can make chicken noodle soup? Oh my god, we're gonna be the next Campbell's.
Gotta keep spray and pray. What do I not need? I'm gonna store some of my ammo. Cut down on a little bit of weight. Here's the majority of the stuff that I'm using. Thank you, Karn, sir. Eight months subbed. God Howard has truly blessed me. Ashen Knight, you have blessed me. Thank you. Noodle cup, noodle cup. It hydrates and it satiates. What did Ink Demon suggest? It's genius. Oh, Juve's noodle cup. Oh, <laughs> Juve's noodle soup and foot massage. All right, fine. We'll build an entire neon sign. Juve's noodle soup and foot massage. I don't like this. I never agreed to sleep with you. How many caps for the massage? A hundred. Okay, dirty water. What's a good... We gotta find Carla. Uh, okay, new objective. No, we just need to kill things. Level 14, level 14, level 14, level 14. No, we do not need Carla. We just need to turn our ammunition into death and then convert that death into XP. That's it. That is our number one goal. No more bullshit. Let's go Old North Church. Check this little spot out. 96 caps? Raijo, you got a deal. I like somebody that can barter. Thank you, Karn, sir. How do you do, fellow juveniles? Why did the text-to-speech sound so happy? How do you do? It was very... It was very proper. What is the main aim of this challenge? Mainly as an experiment to see how far we can take the game. I'm illegal. I'm out of compliance. Okay, now I'm back in the road. Uh, mostly just an, just an experiment to sort of see how far we can take this. Don't move. It's all right. But I would also... I'm dead. One sec. Oh, what a th you idiot. Gotta be kidding me, man. Man, why the... Uh... Oh, I forgot people are gambling. That's one death. One death, by the way. I get two more before level 14. Wait, we died twice? Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. My apologies once again to the believers for I have Have we died? Wait, when was the first time we died? Okay, hold on. How do you count half a death? You don't count half a death. If you're not familiar with how sports gambling works, that's how lines a lot of times end on. It, all it does is ensure that there are no ties. So three is a winner, two is a winner, and that's it. So you choose over or under two and a half, which means that there's no what's called a push in sports gambling. If this was like actual sports gambling, then I, your bookie, would be taking some juice, which means in total, Let's say there were 200,000 channel points placed, but I'm at least guaranteed to get back 5,000 channel points. 
So like if you bet a hundred instead of winning a hundred back you win back like 98 because I had to take my juice I really wish I could juice <laughs> you all for the channel points on gambles There we go. We got some action over here. Got some super mutants ready to die Got my sniper got nine bullets all I need we're getting to level 14 and I'm not dying Fuck the non-believers where, where are you running off to? I've never seen a super mutant move at that speed before. He was all excited. Shoo, that one has a bomb. They're not going to turn around this corner, right? They're going to keep moving down the road this way. Let's see if we can close the gap right around this corner. Fight. Well, there goes the nuke. Maybe we can poke our head into this fight late. Oh shit, I can't take the sidewalk. Okay, we need a new route. Road? Oh yeah, this is all road, baby. Behind me? On the roof. Right above me. Good thing we spotted him. Ball, please walk off the roof. Walk right off the ledge. You've got you've got to be shitting me. There's no fucking way. Two shots? And he hits both? Oh my god. Fuck you. Congratulations to the uh, non-believers. Ooh, that's a huge win. The believers had a win yesterday. <sighs> Man. I suck ass. That was a frustrating one because that one was just stupid. I knew after he hit the first shot, I should have immediately ran to cover. I just didn't pay attention to my health. I caught it way too late. That's tough. Congratulations to the non-believers. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you all. And now I have no... Wait, what? Where did my 308 rounds go? Non-believer equals blue team. <laughs> Who needs some? You're damn right. Skimelian, did you just win the bet and then decided to spend your winnings on the right to laugh? If so, I really respect that decision. Where did I pick up three? I don't remember where I picked up 308 rounds at. Surely not over here. Thank you, kind sir. I am totally lost right now. This would have been after we made the noodle cups because we ate those. Then we fast traveled away. Are you reddish orange hair with the shirt and jeans plus she's wearing boots? As always, out here on her daily little saunter. Damn it, Dinkelberg. Thank you for the prime. Hope you're doing well. Hot trip, we are pretty far along in our journey to play Fallout 4 without leaving the road. We're on survival mode and we have the ability to fast travel. This is where I got the 308 rounds. And yeah, I remember we picked them up here. 
Give me all that, give me all that, give me all that, give me all that. Thank you, switch it over. All right, we got 11 rounds. Super mutant up on this roof right here. It's the route we took. We'll sneak around. We're just going to go back the exact same way we came. There he is. That easy. That's all I had to do. Couldn't even do that last time. He didn't fall. I wonder if he dropped his gun. Doesn't look like it. Hey. No. There they are. There's that posse of nerds. Shit. Okay, dog. Don't chase after him. There you go. Lead them back here. That was beautiful. Might have wasted my landmines, though. Nice little headshot. Counted as a sneak. One down. Come on. Nice. Two down. I'm on fire here. Come on. One more shot. We got this. No, oh, I choked. I always choke the last shot. Now I gotta use this little pea shooter to finish him off. Come on, we almost got him. Go get his ass, dog. Have I mentioned how much I love this little dude? Never once have I gotten angry at him. Still on the road. This is still road. No complaining. Get the fudge out of my way. It's amazing how easy it looks when I don't make stupid decisions. Kind of a bummer that when you shoot the bomb out of the hands of the super mutant suicider, you don't get XP for the kill. And we just want to keep our eyes peeled. We really want to start looking for those um, empty water bottles. Oh, we've definitely been here. This whole place was going nuts. We showed up here yesterday. Huge fight in this area. But like usual, we cleared it. It was easy. Anything special in here? Technically, this is over the road, so we count it. Over the road and attached to the road. Eh, a bit muddy, but... Ooh! I'm gonna count it, and I'm not apologizing for it.
glowing one down there. Huge glowing one. I don't think I could kill it. Let's just make sure it can't get up here. Yeah, I'm running. I'm running. I got the XP that I needed. All it took was some Molotovs. I'm gone. I'm getting out of here. Mm. Oh, the glowing one really made it all the way up there. Since when can those fuckers climb? All right, let's think about it. No more landmines. One more Molotov. It's a tall order to try and kill the glowing one. And we got so much XP. It's right there. Oh, he's right here. Nope, 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 nope. One, one, one. Mid reload? Mid fucking reload? Oh my gosh, I am never going to get to level 14. It's never happening. It's not. This is. No, <laughs> this is so fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. I, I would have that would have been perfectly easy to escape if I wasn't mid reload. I think the only way I could have gotten out of it is if I very quickly swapped to a different gun and canceled the reload animation so I could run away. Oh, my God. Back to it. Back to it. I've I've, I've had very unfortunate luck today. But I'll tell you what, this has been really damn fun. I cannot, I cannot believe that. Oh, man. Run around here. We're going to take an automatic left. There's going to be three body. And now the dead bodies that were here before are gone. So I cannot get my 308 rounds. Oh, boy. Yay. Woohoo. I have completely and utterly fucked myself. Although, hold on. No, no one there. Let's think smart about this. Um, there's a feral ghoul. We killed one feral ghoul over here, right? Yeah, there he is. So we can use the knowledge. There's that, uh, and it's a legendary. It's a legendary, and I don't have my hunting rifle ammo. That's so tough. We just have to let him pass by. It's so tempting to just try and, ooh, could have gotten it. I could have hit the nuke in his hand. Hold on, there's an enchanting figure standing on the bridge. He kind of looks like Slenderman from this distance. And who might you be? Is that a pit boy? No, they just wanted to do an old western standoff, I guess. I thought that was going to be something a little bit more. All right. So we're going to let those super mutants pass us by. That sucks. Not really a fight I'm interested in fighting right now. We're going to take the same route that we took, though, to get back to that crater. 
Yeah, they're all the way down the street. They won't see us. That's so disappointing, too, because my Molotov throws as the ghouls were trying to leave were all really good. And so we took out a bunch of them and got so much XP. There was even a legendary down there that we either killed or forced to mutate. I think it was back this way. Maybe I deserve to die there because I touched the sidewalk too many times. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's, let's, let's just go with that and pretend that the game's the game understood what I was doing. And it was like, no, 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 no. You touch sidewalk. So we're going to spawn in several landmines right behind you. But now that we know that there's landmines there, we can use this to our advantage and possibly get a greater return on this encounter than last time. Two of them right next to each other. I don't know if I can defuse them both. All right, we'll get the landmines back. We're going to get back into position. I'm going to... Let's just prepare our escape route. One down there. And then when they attack us, they'll probably go around the car. So we'll keep a little seam right there. Oh, I have four of these. I forgot last time I used two of them on those super mutants. This could work out well for us. Is that? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Which one's? Wait, this is road. Road, road, road. But then sidewalk. Okay, it's technically breaking the rules. If I can go over this, then I will allow myself to go around it just for ease of access. Oh, yeah, count it. And there's synths right across the way. There's the legendary. Oh, there's so many of them charging. Killed way less than last time. Dog? Ah, oh, shit, I touched the sidewalk again. I gotta stop touching it. No, dog, you're so... Okay, dog's probably in trouble. Sounds like the feral ghouls went after... They're fighting the synths. Oh, they all went that way. No. No, you're supposed to be my kill. Okay, we got to go around the road. I got to get involved in this fight. I'm not missing out on it. At least the synths are helping me cash XP. Oh, no. Don't tell me. There's no access. The ghouls are going to drop so much loot, though. Can't go through. Oh, they're right through here. I could totally go right through there and find them. Just not allowed. Hello, Lurpy. How are you? thought that was one of mine. All right, well, I would assume that the feral ghouls won that battle. And they did. No hit marker. One hit marker. Come on, keep it coming, boys. Single file line. And the glowing one is still easily alive. I 
and I'm totally all over the sidewalk. Well, I'm fucked. This did not work out as well as I thought it would have. Come on, come on, car, come on, car, come on, I need you. Okay, car did some good damage. One shot on the leg. Nope. Ooh, you gotta get some more distance. That fucker is moving fast. Do I have any Nuka Cola? Radiated blood. Anything that can give me AP right now? I'll take Psycho. Bring it. I'm being chased into the next state. I'll be in Fallout 5 by the time I kill this guy. Or at least just get away from him. Every time he yells like that, I'm just praying, please don't hit me. Okay, we got a critical banked. He's gonna do his little run. We gotta turn and sprint. Do your little sprint thing. Okay, maybe I could switch to something that hits hard and take out that leg. Shotgun? The pipe rifle does 20. Snipe rifle has no ammo. Somehow I'm alive. Do we take out the leg? How is he still running? How, my man? There. Leg's gotta be gone now. Oh, we got the leg. Okay, we got the leg finally. Now we begin the slow and painful, tedious process. Slowly. Oh my god, okay. Okay, let's, let's restart. There's still a super mutant up there who's gonna try and kill me. Line it up. I don't have the fully auto- I thought I had a fully automatic. risk minimal reward but we're almost level 14 what mod am i using for this challenge uh nothing out of the ordinary i do have a survival mod that allows you to fast travel but in terms of content nothing really i don't use any visual mods um i don't have any weapon mods Simon, Stash, and Lexa. Oh, Stash, wait a minute, we've already met you all. Mutant Slayer's Walk, that's actually kind of good for how many super mutants have been giving me trouble. Hey there. Wow, look who it is. Glad to see the wasteland hasn't swallowed you up. I'm just thrilled to meet a friendly face, somebody who doesn't want to kill me. Let's see what you got. Exactly what you need. I was not expecting to see them again. I thought that they would be stuck just in the one spot they were in instead of being roaming traders. But that's nice. Gives me a place to dump off some of the loot. Double barrel will keep it. Pipe rifle don't need it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I really did not get a whole lot of loot there. I gotta go. Until next time. Catch you later, Stash. If I shaved the rest of my beard other than my mustache, you could also call me Stash. Please laugh. I don't know if I could ever do that. 
honestly, I've thought about it. Like, maybe we could do something involving shaving my beard into something else. But I'm not going to lie. I got to be honest with you all, chat. This beard um, is like my version of wearing a... <laughs> This is kind of rude, but I'm I'm only I'm only doing this uh, stealing from a really old onion skit that they did. Uh, but it's like my version of wearing a T-shirt at the public pool. It is a shield for the insecurities that lie underneath it. I don't know if I could get rid of it. Do I have any beard grooming tips? The only real advice I have is to get, like, your baseline. Let it grow out. Not to, like, a really, really gross degree, but let it grow out. And then go to a barber and ask your barber to line up your beard. And then you could at least have a visual sort of cue of, you know, what your beard looks like trimmed and taken care of. And then I would honestly just ask them. It'll be easier to see it in person and then talk to the person that just did it and then be like, oh, okay, so this is what I can do. Can I get you from here? This is road. This is a continuation of the destroyed road. I'm counting it. Pathetic. Look at him crawling away trying to get out of the crater after we set his family ablaze. This is no sob story for you, my friend. This is a Victoria story for me and my dog. Time out. Before I do anything really stupid here, I'm going back home and saving. Now you want to see me clean shaven? Uh, I've shown a... I think it's in the... Bruma. In the Bruma video, there's a bit where I include a picture of me from my high school prom. I'm clean shaven in there. With some acne. In all of my 17-year-old pubescent glory. Yeah, if, you, if you're wondering what you missed, I let down the believers once again. I'm just... I'm sorry. It's devastating. I hate letting the believers down. I feel terrible. The believers are going to start eating soon, though. Don't really have a whole lot to turn in. Let's just keep it moving. We're right on the cusp of 14. This is going to be a really fun section to put in the video. Oh my god, again, are these the same assholes that we just saw? Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Sucks losing, doesn't it, Mr. Super Mutant? Now we put the dog on him. Dog distracts. We close in, target down. Hey, see if he had anything worth taking. Definitely need to loot him. I need his ammo. No, not the giant board. I don't, that's useless. Put it down. Hey. <laughs> Go get his ammo. Grab anything useful. You grabbed the worst possible thing he had. There we go. Shotgun shells, not ideal. Not really what I need. Hey, check it out. Come on. Yes, 38 rounds. Worth it. 
An extra 12 ammo. Give the dog his stick. I wish I could just have him play with the stick. Carry it around. What are the items that we can put into his inventory for him to have more animations? There's a teddy bear, right? We got to keep an eye out. I want to have him fully stocked with toys and animations. Can you give him a baby rattle or is it just the teddy bear? Oh, that poor crow. He's looking around. Is that my is that my brother? He was right here, but now he's still right here, but he's also over there and over there. Not sure why I'm going this way. Waste of time. Not going to find a whole lot. Easy XP. Beantown Brewery is probably not bad. We should do... Let's go to the police station because it's a safe zone with Dance and his crew out there. And just peruse through this town real quick. There's a mod called Pet Call that gives him fetch animations and you can pet him too. I love modders. They're so awesome. <laughs> You didn't find shit. Well, oh, there's a little back door here? It leads to sidewalk. Bummer. I'm closing that gate so it cannot break my heart anymore in the future. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There it is. I think this is the last feral ghoul. Or is there another? There must be another one over there. Let's check it out. Because Dance hasn't let us progress that quest at all. And I can't figure out why. Oh, I mean, some people have alluded to what it might be in chat, and there's a few theories. Honestly, some of the people who have a theory could be 100% right, because it's probably an issue that somebody has had before. But I don't want to do any commands for it. I want to see if we can fix it in-game. I didn't do all this damage. There we go. Dog me, get off the truck and come down here. Help me. Shoot, that was close. You grab him? Good shit, dog me. Hold on to him, hold on to him. Finally, we got it. Nice. Finally. Twelve and a half hours? That is much longer than I thought it would take to get to this point, but we're here. We did it. Level 14. Okay. That was fun. No, uh, genuinely. I mean it. That was really fucking fun. What's my ideal Fallout 5 location? East Coast, West Coast, or a certain state? Um, I thought about this recently, and I think Texas would be cool. I think Texas would be fucking sweet, actually, uh, because you could do a place like 
you could do a Dallas or a San Antonio or whatever it be. But with Texas, you'd be able to combine a lot of the urban and rural stuff in one map. That would be really sweet. Uh, and it's and it's central. It's not really East Coast or West Coast. Um, I think I'm biased, so I want one in Iowa. I want Fallout in Iowa. I want Des Moines. Give me Fallout in Des Moines, Iowa. You got the downtown. You got some rural. You could condense it a bit and throw Iowa City in there. Fuck it. Give me Fallout in Iowa. That's what I want. Can we get a new? Uh, we'll, we'll have a new Gamba. Not right now. Who's firing off laser rifles? Oh my God, the neighbors never shut the fuck up, man. I'm trying to run a business in here. I'm trying to run a ramen shop. All right, so let's think about this for a second. Should, we should go with a general trader, right? A, a general trader is going to be our best bet at getting crafting materials that we need, right? Right? Where the hell did I, What am I getting XP for? I'm getting credit for the murder across the street now. I have inspired everybody on the block. I kind of want to give them a decent little... Oh, wait. This is a decent little spot. It's technically off the road. I don't know if I'd be able to initiate conversation with them. That should work, right? They can walk through. Get to their post. Seems to be growing well. Okay, we'll set up that. And then I uh, want to look at power. Manufacturing. Machinery. <gasps> we can make a builder. We can actually make a builder. How, I don't know how I'm going to find room for this thing, but we need to make a builder and see if we're able to make empty bottles with that builder. If we make bottles with the builder, we get glass supply from our trader over here and just caps in general trading with them. Where are my civilians? See, this is why I store my one extra settler in the pillory. Because now I can finally give them a real job. She's been a loyal soldier, okay? She spent a long time in the pillory. It's been like four weeks. We can give her a job now. You better shape up, though. I'm going to have to recruit another settler, though, so we can throw someone in the pillory. Couldn't I make it in Sanctuary? I wasn't able to find a way, or I guess I didn't really even look into it. Finding a way to make Sanctuary a settlement, because you have to either touch the workbench, which you can't do from the road, or possibly complete Preston Garvey's quest. I'm not sure. I just like this one. I don't want to do Sanctuary. I've done Sanctuary enough times casually. I've never really built at this settlement before. So it's a fun experiment. Simply Jason, it's going pretty well. Now that we're making a lot more progress, I'm having a ton of fun with this, actually. And we've got our trader. Trader is working. Settler is razor graining. You want to do some trading? Yes, ma'am. I have never wanted to trade more in my life. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. All right, please be 
What do we got here? Miscellaneous junk. Uh oh. Uh, I may have already changed my mind. So we can get beer bottles. That's good. Only one beer bottle, though. Flask. Hot plate. It's all just junk. None of it's very good. Oh, we do have shipments in here. No shipments of... No glass shipments. I should have done a weapons vendor. Yeah, I should have done a weapons vendor. Let's just make our money now, though. Keep the laser rifle. I like that one. Yeah, uh, this is a... I should have done a weapons vendor. Because I have to buy ammo. Okay. Yeah, you're fired. All right, we're going to lose out on some caps here. But only like 200. We'll make it back quickly. I got to go weapons vendor. And we'll make it this little one so they have a bit more room. Got it. All right, yeah, we lost out on some caps big time. Oh, the teddy bear. I'm sorry, Chad. I missed it. We'll find one. I'd rather find one out in the wild. Hey there. Looking for a weapon? I like how she's immediately stocked got. up. She walked want. away, walked back. Her entire inventory is different. All right, this is nice. Now we can do 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 do. Make some real cash. And by cash, I mean ammo. Even trade, get some ammo. Throw it into storage. Ten millimeter auto pistol, that's pretty good. Violent 10 millimeter auto pistol plus 25% damage and limb damage, but has more recoil. Probably use that. Starlight driving. Uh, we can't. We can't actually touch the starlight driving workbench without leaving the road. If we could, I'd use it. But also at the same time, this one is a little bit of a cheat. Right, like there's a little bit of sidewalk here, but we're counting it just for the challenge since it really goes with the theme that we're doing. But star if we also were going to, you know, slightly cheat for star Starlight Drive-In and have a second settlement, it feels a little bit too much. Like just having the one right here, right on the road, our little home base, I like it. Isn't the cooking station behind the screen? Yes, true. And the map does say road for Hangman's Alley. With map as tiebreaker, it does say that's a road. I have no food to cook. Okay, so now we kind of have to crack the code. We've solved a little bit of our ammo situation, not enough. Why don't we see if we can pay Cricket a visit? Let's grab some of these valuable ones we got. Yeah, some of the legendaries. Check if we have any purified water made. Plenty of razor grain. Take our corn. Store the laser rifle for now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I gotta switch up my weapon. Let's go with the 10 millimeter auto pistol, just so we can switch it up for a bit. Collect 38 ammo. Spray and pray for emergencies. I'm gonna chew through this set of 300 rounds really fast. But I just wanna switch it up. I can't keep using the same gun. Uh, 18 different pipe pistols. I'll take those. Some double barrels. Take the hunting rifle. Sell that, sell that, sell that. All right. Let's go find Cricket. I need a little sip. Not what I needed. Hydrated. I just have to resort to eating pure razor grain whenever I'm hungry. I don't want to eat into my product, but I have to. Chat wants trade routes. We'll see. We'll see how far we take this. You know, I mean, right now it feels like we're getting <gasps> ah, cricket. My knight in shining ragged robes. Cricket hay is so many guns in so little time. You just got to buy them. I've got a few minutes to and there they are. Uh huh. Okay, I can't afford all this. <laughs> Shit. Okay, how much can I get? Okay, Cricket's right here. So we're just gonna quickly run back, get more inventory, run back to Cricket to sell. We gotta be quick. This is what a road trader does. Constantly just shovels things back and forth. You know what I'm even going to do? I'm going to go right here. Go in here. Take all the weapons that I want to sell. I'll keep the laser rifle. Holy shit. I did not realize I had this much armor. Okay, that's way more than I thought I had. We're gonna take. Uh, that's probably too much. Can we beat Cricket though? Oh, I was just running for a second. I know I could give it to my dog and have dog carry. Well, let's just see if we can beat Cricket right here. Come on, tell me she turns right. Yeah. Oh, cricket. I've got a ton of shit for you. Everyone wants a piece of what I got. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't want to get out of the way, you <sighs> stupid. Uh, oh my god, she's gonna she's gonna we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get left behind now because of this fucking thing. Quick, dog meat, stop her. We have to catch up. <laughs> Hey, Ammo, cricket. weapons, and messy death. I got it all. So many guns and so little time. Fuck off, cow. Please, let us do business in peace. Let's see what you've got. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. Okay, that was stressful. We almost <laughs> I thought we were gonna lose her completely. So I want all of these for 400. I want all your 10 millimeter as well. I want all your 308. We need to load up on ammo. It's time to bring the fight back to the road. Come on, break even. 
I want to at least break even here. Nice. Now we're in. We're in, We're profiting. Profit four hundred and eleven. Still have some purified water at home. I'll get rid of those. Sixty caps. Boom. Loaded up on ten millimeter. That can be our little side piece. Spray and pray, we have a little bit over 350 rounds. This is gonna go quick, but it's gonna get us through some tough fights easily. Now we are moving. Parasites and fatigue. Okay, let's... The last round of antibiotics. I cannot believe we found five antibiotics right at the start. I think either dog meat grabbed them out of a medical box or I grabbed them. I don't remember. But right at the start, we found five super quickly. But now we're out. Any diseases we get, we got to eat those or wait them out. You pointed out yesterday that my grain farm wasn't on the road. Looks like it is to me. What, you talking about these ones? Come on. Don't be a stickler now. We still have to have fun. Is that what we got it? We got it from the medical box? By Red Rocket? Does an alleyway count as a road? Sure. Why wouldn't it? And if you have an actual argument for that, I don't want to hear it. La la la, cannot hear you. I cannot hear you in your actual logic chat. I do not want to hear logic, not in my chat today. I'm claiming a small victory. Uh, no, uh, think, think of it this way, chat. Because a lot of people have been asking questions of like, does this count as a road? Is this a road? What's a road? Blah, blah, blah. The main controversial one is railroads. Um... No, nah, railroads are not roads. But for pretty much everything else, just think rule of cool or rule of fun. And in terms of like sort of what we're going for here, we still don't really know what our end goal is. I don't even know what my next short term goal is. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's a it's a vibe. It, it really is just a vibe thing. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. When has my channel ever had any semblance of logic? This is a road. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Holy sh shit balls, Batman. <laughs> wow. Holy recoil. That really got me. That was a fantastic jump scare. Holy crap. Whew. We're alive. That's all that matters. So let's think forward. We hit level 15. What do we take? Commando? Probably. We took Rifleman to get us through for a bit, but I want to lean automatic. We should probably take Commando. Save soon if I didn't after that transaction. Uh, I think I saved. I like I went around camp and I was like, fuck it. I'll I'll quick save here. Since we did the transacting. We transactified. But you know what? Let's just lock it in. Let's make it official. Head back and take a nap. Oh, that's right. We were going to do carry weight what did i i think i wasted a perk on making dog meat better in combat so we spent a perk point there where my original plan was to spend it on strong back all right we'll lock it in 
Did I use too much of my shit? Nope, we can still make a builder. But we need eight power for it. Can we take this out? Yeah, we need to do some remodeling here. We can set up our builder right there. We need screws, gears, and ceramic. Hey, maybe I should make my trader a general trader again so I can get junk. I make smart choices. I think I want to stay urban. I want to stay in the city if we're using fully automatics because I'm going to have more cover. More cover in the city. I can close distances between people. I do still have my sniper. We got a decent amount of sniper ammo. Can you drive a sedan on railroad <laughs> railway tracks? Yes, but should you? No. Well, that's... Uh, See, that's GTA. In GTA, the railroads are, in fact, roads. They're like the best way of escaping the cops. Yeah, we want to go south. Rain prey at two. Sniper rifle at three. Pipe rifle at four. Two, three. One, four. But we'll start with our sniper. With its cool paint job. I had to get so far in the Fallout 4 Battle Pass to get this uh, skin. Grinded for weeks. Trains drive, so they are on roads. You drive me fucking crazy. Does that make you a car? Huh? <laughs> that makes chat a car. Oh, we're going? Already? I have expendable ammo, but I don't plan on missing my shots. <laughs> Got him. Come on, you can win this one. Teamwork. Dog meat throws it up. And I throw it down. Beautiful. Love the teamwork. Okay, asshole. No way. No way, get out of here. My first fight when I'm fully loaded up with ammo. And I die in this strange position. Go figure. All right, we'll do another gamble. I'll let you guys have some fun here. Welcome to the casino. Please place your bets. The current line that we have given for this gamble is over under four and a half deaths before level 15. The previous death does not count. It does not add to the list. So we are starting at zero, four and a half. If I die four times and then I reach level 15, congratulations to the believers. If you are a non-believer, also known as a prick, and you think that I will die more than four and a half times, which in the case of only going up by one whole number with every death, means that we would have to be at five.
That's it. Simple rules. Nuke Potatoes, we wish you well. Current level in XP, I'm 14. Level 14. One of these days, we're gonna take out the Diamond City security. I wonder if we can take an alternate route to kill these guards. Yo, Psst. grab anything useful. Take anything good. Get him. Hold. Stay there. Drop him. Stop right there. Damn it! I was trying to domesticate him. Wait there. Come on. Here. Check it out. What'd you get for me, buddy? Bring it here, boy. We're gonna strip this guy till he's got nothing. Fetch! Really, I just want to get any ammo off of him as he has it. Dogmate keeps bringing back his clothes. Uh, that might have been the one with the no the one with the switchblade we killed right on the street bring that here hey check that body pal Not his clothes. He doesn't have any ammo? Okay, he must have nothing. Fine, we'll take his clothing. His leathers. Strip the entire dead body of all of its clothing. Of course I did all my hotkeys. And then died. Holy frames in this little area. Okay, this gun is amazing. I want to say we can find a bunch of feral ghouls over here. Ah, oh, the road cuts us off. We gotta go around. Oh man, this is unfortunate. I have to go all the way around the block. Now, let's go this way. I want to push further into downtown. Yes, this is road. 
This is reasonably covered by junk. See movement over there. See that? On him. What? That guy. Ah, oh, you're pissing me off, dog. Right, at least we're at the point where we can get some one-shot headshots. It feels good. I don't like killing them off the road, though. I need all the loot. Ah, he died right there. He was worth a good amount of XP, so... Hey, boy! See if he had anything He's a legendary! Taking. Really? We one-shot a legendary. That's awesome. Don't know where my dog went. There you are. What did... Nice. Vats enhanced painted metal chest piece. 10% reduction in action points. Cost in vats. That's pretty darn good. Hey. Grab anything useful. I bet he had some more on him, though. He's a legendary. No, I don't care about his... Sure, we'll take the gun. Hey, check it out. But I'm hoping he can bring me some cash or ammo. Molotov, that's not bad. Nice little find. Wait there. See if there's anything there. I'll get something else. True, that's why my dog didn't attack the guy in the building. He also wants to stay on the road. I love the sound of the giant tall buildings. It just makes them feel like beasts. Like they're wailing. Hey, take anything good. These dead bodies usually have good ammo. At least like 15 to 20, 38 rounds. Grab that. Where's he going? Don't tell me he goes all the way around the building to come through this way. Over here. Oh my god, he did. Get that. He went the long way. Get that pistol. All right, yeah, grab the gun. Bring it on over. Pick that up. I should swap from the fully auto pistol that I'm using, to be honest. Save up on some 10 millimeter rounds. Take that. Oh, food? Fetch it! Now, once you start bringing me their clothes, then they're done. Check that body, pal. The whole outfit. <laughs> Ness. I've been running into a lot of random characters recently. What is in there? Oi, what are you doing on my road? Hi. Hey, buddy. You looking to earn some caps? Oh, sweet. Can I actually complete a quest? Sure. Then I've got the job for you. I've got a lead on a crash site. Big old jet. That much scrap could be worth a lot to the right buyer. Trouble is, some raiders are holed up in it. Help me run them off, and I'll give you a cut of the profit. How about 50 caps? <laughs> Sound fair? That's embarrassing. Come on, make it worth my time. 100. Again, pitiful. You can do better than that. 150. Again, I am ashamed to be in your presence. Last chance. 200. Look, there are other mercs out there. You can take the job or not. 
I'm in. All right. There's a little ridge just south of the crash site. Meet me there, and we'll take them on together. So I've done this quest before, but I encountered her immediately outside the crash site. And if you remember, I think from the first stream, when we were up in this area, we passed by it, and I was going, oh, I wonder if we can go in there or if there's a road to access it. Yeah, it's right here. All the way, but yeah, okay, it's up in this area. We passed it right before we got to General Atomics. I kind of do want to head up there and see. Especially since we've unlocked the quest. If I die and then we reload a save, it could just disappear forever and we never run into Ness. Because I'm pretty sure somebody mentioned in chat as well that it's a really rare encounter, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. I think it's pretty rare. I kind of want to pass through here, though. You know, it, it feels like I'm going somewhere that I previously wasn't allowed to go to. Uh, no. Will you watch yourself? You're going to get the stream muted. Very nice. Pack. Oh, have I been here? I have been here before. Yeah, there were a couple of bandits right there. We killed them both. Killed them dead. Cold blood. So maybe I have been to this spot before. What'd you find, boy? Okay. Duly noted. Okay, I'll explode their faces. What the fuck was that? This is gonna be fun. Someone died. Let's not do anything really stupid here. Oh, I'm on the sidewalk. I apologize for my transgressions, chat. I'll never leave the road again. You're not, not okay, we gotta be careful. The Raider Psychos do decent damage. Oh, I'm sick again? That's bad. Really bad time to get over encumbered. You're welcome, dog. This is sketchy. Uber's comics, good find. Oh, Swan. We finally made our way to Swan. Took me long enough to get down here. Okay. Sidewalk's bad karma, it is. Time for punishment? Nah. Nope. Alright, let's get all this discovery XP. Ball Easton Club. Nice toss, loser. Nice, killed her in the road. What's up? 
Oh, okay, now we got people all around that want us dead. Be calm. Obey. Tell where this douchebag over here is. Nice work, doggy. Never mind, doggy did not get that kill there. Ooh, close call. Slight overcorrection on the shot. All right, I don't think we're in the clear, clear. Actually, pop, come here. Boy. Jesus Christ, I need a fix for this. I said I would find a fix for it last time we played. How much can he carry? I mean, holy fucking frames, man. It's running at like 15. Oh, that's it? That's all dog can carry? What the fuck was that? Okay, we'll just focus on drugs and booze and... Sorry, chat, one sec. Got him. All right, now we're in the clear. And mill auto. It'll sell for a decent amount, but now we're back to being over encumbered. Combat zone. Uh, let's go back and loot up those super mutants. Lest my game crash as soon as I cross into whatever this little corner is. I shouldn't be adventuring anymore. This was a good run. It was a good run. We got some good stuff, discovered a lot of locations. We got a lot of XP. Definitely got to take a sec. Focus on drugs and booze. I'm playing as you in your early 20s. Ugh, same. Hmm. Maybe not quite that. <laughs> Maybe not quite that crazy, but. Can I make food? That's it. Mutant hound chops. More dog. My entire diet has been nothing but dog. This is why I want to make a ramen factory. We're going to make it work. Uh, the timer did crash. Do you know how long it crashed? Or when it crashed? I don't know why it keeps doing that. Give me one sec.
Drugs, booze, and ramen. This is, it's, yeah, it's a college experience. Okay, so it was right. It was just after 13 hours, right? So we'll set it at 13, 10. We'll set it at 13 hours, 10 minutes. Just to make up for some of the time. Clyde and Seek, I'm glad you're here. Sorry, I've been I've been AWOL chat uh, for a lot of this today. I really do want to make a lot of progress. It's been a ton of fun, uh, but I've been sort of locking in during some of the gameplay portions. What are my thoughts on Starfield? I'm excited to play it. I'm ready for uh, ready for release. If you are, if you are, if you're more interested, we did a uh, we did like a breakdown uh, and we went through the entire thing on the second channel. If you want to watch that, I think I made that into just its own upload. It was part of another stream where we tried to do some of our normal antics, but I did upload that separately. Molotov's pipe rifle. Uh, we'll keep it for a bit. I kind of do need that carry weight. Not going to lie. We need the carry weight. You hope there's an option to blow up planets? I got bad news for you. I got really disappointing news for you. you need to get back to Diamond City. Where is she? Why is she not working? Did she go back to the pillory? It'd be really funny if she quit her job at the weapon stand to go back to her true vocation of hanging out in the pillory. Yeah, I mean, it was a good job, but I like the benefits of being here. There's just something about it. All right, back out. Let's go find ourselves some stuff. Hey, hey, who assaulted the stop sign? No, no. Oh my gosh, you're ruining the traffic lights. Have some respect. Let's just try and catch this gutsy off guard. And I still lose? I mean, those things just eat bullets. The Mr. Gutsy. They're so powerful. Well, how many times have I died? That was only one. I can still die four more times. Holy inaccurate shit weapon. Give me a fucking break. It's a Protectron! It's nuts and bolts! Scrabble together! 
not a machine of war. It's a glorified janitor with a taser. Stupid ass robot. Okay, all right, yeah, that one's scary. That one's scary. We're getting out of here. Dog, please run, run. Don't get killed. Oh, okay. I hate my neighbors. I hate them. They're constantly making noise. They're shouting about invaders and stuff like that. They are the ones invading my block. I own this place. Me and me alone. Thank you, kind sir. Haven't caught a stream in ages. Stiff Griff, good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you for the prime. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Well, not really see you, but read you. And hear you, in a way. See, dude, every time this is going on, I really just want to be there. Like, what is going on over here? I must be involved. Drama? And I'm not... We must investigate. Oh, it's a dead end and I missed the whole fight. I'm only getting farther away from it now, no. Oh, disappointed dot MP4. This is the closest I've seen an entrance to just being directly on the road and counting it. Man, that's so lame. We missed the entire fight. A whole thing went down. Enemies nearby? Who the hell is nearby? Dog, you see anything? Man, that was a bummer. It's good neighbor. Or, so good neighbor is on a road covenant. We stopped by and no covenant actually has a sidewalk that divides it. Fallout bingo or Iron Man. I do have a fallout Iron Man planned. I don't have a fallout bingo planned, but if people do really enjoy. Again, I'm not there. I'm missing it. They're all having fun, firing off their guns, killing each other, explosions, and I'm here drinking water. All right, come on, let's get out there. That sounds way too fun. Wait, wait, not without me. Skirmisher. Decent damage on him. No way. No way. I'm dead. Barely got behind cover. I shoot, if I shoot them in their super mutant balls, it should do more damage. All right, 
right, I want to get that skirmisher. Lost my arm. <sighs> Come on, where'd he go? If I push this fight, I'm dead. I'm going to push this fight, but I just know I'm dead. But he's, he's attacking the Brahmin. We got to save it. Not too bad, but I'm already low on 45 rounds. We getting close to 15. What are we at? Ooh, we are. We're about four fifths of the way there. So the believers could actually win. Why is my flashlight on 24 seven? Why? What? What is with? OK, I'll turn it off for you. But why the fuck do so many people care about the flashlight? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like every time I look over, did you know that actually having your flashlight on makes sneaking hard? Yes, I know. I don't care. I like the glow of the green. Simple as that. I like the green. I like the green. And you know what? I'm keeping it on. Now I'm keeping it on. <laughs> now, now the light stays on. I want to see things. Also, it gets very dark at night. I want to hit 15. We're right there. All right, we hit 15. I'm probably just going to take the commando. Should buy some ammo. Where is my vendor? Uh, <clears throat> it seems to be growing well. My vendor's never working. Go back to work. Go the fuck back to work, please. Let's go. Come on. Let's get it moving. Don't give me that. She's sassing me. We could do carry weight. Carry weight's good. Excuse me. If you need a weapon, you've come to the right place. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. All right, that's a good amount of ammo. Good amount of ammo here. Love to see that. Thank you, kind sir. I'm going to ditch this 10 millimeter auto pistol. I think it kind of sucks. The recoil is super hard to control. Okay, now I'm making money. I'm not using shotgun shells a lot, so I'm going to sell 50 of them. Make some money back. Uh, Nuka Morphine. Nuka Morph I almost said Nuka Morphine. Thank you. Is someone said, who's sending their stream over? Did I miss it? Uh, but Nuka Morphine, thank you very much for the Prime and Young Adults Kitchen. Thank you for the Tier 1. I appreciate it. How did Nora feel? About Gump's love of roads. Oh, <laughs> Nora. Nora felt very strongly about how much time Gump was spending thinking about the road, talking about the road. It really eroded their relationship because it got to the point where Nate would get home from work and be like, Nora, Nora, you're never going to believe it. I was I was licking asphalt today time, and. 
Is that what did I miss? Is that the is that the raid alert? Is that what that was? Um, uh, shit. I was I was I, I don't I don't remember. I was making a joke. I was doing I was doing a, a a bit. I was launching into a bit, and I lost my train of thought. Um, but I don't I don't know what that what the hell that alert was. Unofficial Jabo raid. I love an unofficial raid. Those are fun. I don't know why. There's something cool about it. It's underground. It's not one of those mainstream raids. But either way, Jabo, I appreciate it. Hope your stream went well. Uh, anybody who was watching Jabo's stream, how close are we to a million gold? <clears throat> or a million cats? Sure I've got something you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Wait, hold on. That's a good one, though. I, I need to write that down in my notes real quick because when I make this video, that's going to be Gump's lore. Uh, Gump and Nora, their relationship didn't work out because Gump kept getting home talking about how he was licking the road <laughs> or something. Nora, honey, you'll never believe it. I was out licking uh, Westlake Boulevard. Wait, like you were licking the road? Yes, yes, yes. I was, I was just getting a taste of it. You see, asphalt, it's, it's grainy and on, on a hot summer day, it has extra flavor. It just... <sighs> It sears my tongue with extra taste. Okay, so, uh, Gump liked to lick the road, so he and Nora split up. Hello, Jabo. How are you? How was your stream? Uh, wait, oh, I totally, oh, sorry, so he's under 100,000. Sorry, I didn't want to do raid. <laughs> so he just gave a shout out. Oh, that's fine. I don't, I appreciate it regardless. Um, you know, one of these days, I'll be able to send my stream over to you, but because of the time zone, we're always a little bit off. So if you did come over from Jabo stream, I guess I can explain a little bit. Hey, look, speaking of Jabo, totally still this out of your playbook, getting spray and pray. Uh, what we're doing is a Fallout 4 playthrough. We're playing survival mode with the caveat that fast travel is allowed just so that we can limit how much backtracking and running around we're doing. Uh, really love how that plays out. But the real gimmick of this entire playthrough is that we just have to stay on the road at all times. This is the only rule break that we allowed because I was dead set and convinced that Hangman's Alley would be accessible straight up from the road. Although, hold on. I do have to say as a little tiebreaker on the map, it is a continuous road. So before people from Jabo's chat ask, railroads do not count. Railroads are not roads. Uh, and then as a, like a tiebreaker, we like to use this. So here's how much progress we've made, all the places we've discovered. This is one of my favorite little parts because you can see clearly this route of discoverable locations down. But we just finally hit level 14. So we can start up at least having a trader at our base. We're building a razor grain farm. And we're building a uh, just a miscellaneous builder here. I want to see if it can build bottles. If it can build empty bottles, I want to get a ton of dirty water because this game inexplicably forces you to use dirty water if you want to make noodle cups. So I want to make a ramen noodle empire without ever leaving the road. I don't really know if that's our end goal or not. Oh, and right now Chad is gambling on how many times I'll die before I reach level 15. But fuck the non-believers. I'm doing this for the believers. We're almost at 15. We're... Where are we? Four fifths. We're 80% of the way there and I've only died once. So to all the believers out there, this one's for you. We're going to take this road and head east. We haven't gone very far east on this road. Oh, you know what? This is a great idea. If we follow this road, we'll be able to take out some of the ghouls that are by the four leaf fish packing plant. I think. Whichever the end location is for the drug quest, Diamond City Blues. I hate this platforming. Is 
The dirty water is just the flavor packet. Well, it's it, we don't even make noodles. We just use grain. It's like we're throwing fresh wheat into boiled muddy water and calling it a meal. Rocket. I was able to hear that message and I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Um, could it, somebody write the name that popped up? It was on my second monitor uh, on OBS and it was pretty small. It's a por oh porridge. That makes a little bit more sense, but it's still just noodles. It's still like grass and boiled water. It's spicy grass and boiled water. It's actually probably more akin to beer. Over under status, we have died one time. Oh man. Oh yeah, it's so. Oh, oh. Oh, I love it. That was a huge, colossal waste of ammo. But I don't care. Die. God, that felt good. Really? You must not have been reading the scripture. Because uh, in the book of Genesis, there is a tale of a road warrior who will come by and massacre the entire village. Oh shit. Okay. Dog, you can handle this 1v1, right? I don't want to get too close to that car. I have no angle. Nice throw, dumbass. Okay, I can't see you. Get out of the bushes. Can I at least hit him for a command? Hey, over here. Move here. Here. Head over there. One of the more fun things of this challenge has been actually using his fetch command. It's been really useful. So like if an enemy dies, like if we snipe a bandit up here, we do have to send the dog up to go fetch any useful items from them. And I have, if you're curious on what perks we've kind of taken, really heavy into charisma. So we took cap collector, lone wanderer, two into attack dog, two into animal friend, two into local leader. Everyone was hating on me for taking animal friend, but I have very quickly proven all the animal friend haters wrong. So if you came in here and you plan to hate on Animal Friend, I don't want to hear it. I'm right. You're wrong. I, I have. Okay, y'all guys going around this way. I want to take this big beast out. Comes. Ooh, he's really fast. I don't know if I have enough space. I think he's actually gaining ground on me. Oh, thank you, puppy. Thank you, dog. It's all good. And you tactically went down in the road. Bring him back into the fight. Oh, shit, dude. I did not think we'd be able to get space. Okay, I need to quit screwing around. I'm wasting all my 45 ammo. Oh, we're so close to level 15. I just want to get there. Oh, ooh. How the bow? He's not dead. All we did was break their legs, not actually kill them.
can't go in here. I think this might be the first lock in the whole playthrough. Is this the only unlockable door? Hey, see if she had anything. Yeah, go check them out. I send my dog into the gross places to grab things for me. What the fuck was that? Did you just grab me? Oh my god, he's a magician. New dog meets superpower unlocked. Wait, get, wait, hold hey. on, get out of there, get out of there. Oh, there, there. Idiot. Okay, we gotta get him out of there. Uh, it was nothing. Nothing, you murdered my dog, douchebags. This is the most on the fence road. Like the road is just buried in junk, but we're still technically on the road. Where is he? Is he like right through this door? What's that? Maybe he was firing down. That's so disappointing. I want to see the dog do that magic trick again. This is like the ninth time I've ditched him. Yeah, we'll pass on it for now. One of the reasons, here's, here's kind of a thing that I like though about how this is almost, this challenge has almost balanced itself. Where like, obviously we're on survival, but my dog just went down. I can't revive them. In order to get my dog back, I have to fast travel to the red rocket station and pick them up and then fast travel back downtown. That leads to such a huge passage in time that it kind of balances itself because of survival. I'm going to lose out on hunger, sleep, food, and all that just by trying to get my dog back. So there is a little bit of an economy punishment to losing my dog. I don't have an obscene amount of water production at my base. That's a landmine. I really just want to make most of my money via noodles. And possibly by sniping gunners. Watch out, she's gonna do good damage. Yeah, really good damage. Nearly killed me there. I'll eat the raw meat. I can deal with the ass worms, I'm not afraid of it. I hate the automatic weapons. They just fuck me up in survival. Nice, and we can get Ada. So that's the next step of this challenge where I want to go with it. Because technically, technically Automatron is available on the road. So we should be able to pick up Ada. Is this run permadeath? No, uh, no, 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 not permadeath. I have died many times. I unfortunately just haven't kept track of my deaths. I should have. Boy. Come on, boy. Actually, really uh, disappointed that I didn't. Oh, congratulations to the uh, believers. Huh? What's up, non-believers? What's going on? Hmm? How's it feel to lose? Hey. hey. Fuck you, chat. Or the non-believers. Fuck the non-believers. Y'all suck. I, I literally, I'm undefeated. Never lost. I've won every single challenge. And you're all a bunch of cowards for betting against me. How's it feel? How's it feel to suck, non-believers? How's it feel to suck? Oh, it feels so good to win. I got my dog back. We got level 15. Uh... Uh, okay.
okay, so if anybody's still over here from Jabbo's chat, y'all are probably Thank a bit more informed than I am. Shiv, bro, did you hear about the upcoming Metalocalypse movie? I'm so hyped, man. FFS I'm literally jumping around happily with an adoring fan smile on my bed because I just found out. Uh, Death Guard, I am very excited for you, but I have no clue what Metalocalypse is. It sounds really cool. That's a cool ass name. I don't know what that is though. Uh, what was what was I what was I saying? Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for two months. For Jabo's chat, or Jabo if you're in chat, I would love your advice. Should we go with Commando or Strongback? I think both. I can't go wrong with either. I don't want to go, definitely not going to go Rifleman. The only semi-auto I'm going to be using is a bolt action, not even semi-auto. I'm going to go strong back. I'm going to take strong back because I kind of committed to taking strong back earlier with the extra strength point that I gave myself. Next level, we'll do automatics. We'll take commando. So level 16, we're going to go commando. And then what's, when can I get attack dog three? 25, come on. I really want number three. Animal friend 28. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Lone wanderer rank two, we can take it 17. So 16 commando, 17 lone wanderer, 18 charisma point. 19 charisma point 20 cap collector rank 2 I think that's a pretty good path by the time we hit cap collector rank 2 we'll be able to really start churning more caps upgrade our settlement uh, salespeople and all that kind of stuff. What is the goal of this challenge? The goal of this challenge is to A, have fun, B, create an economy based solely on ramen noodles, never leave the road, and see what kind of content and encounters we can run into. The, the end goal is kind of formulating itself, but this is really turning into a lot, so we might have to split this into two videos. Faustianity, did you start doing keto? I appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, Thank I, you, I kind love sir. it. It's not for everybody. I really enjoy it. I do need to, you know, work more on my physique outside of that, but I have enjoyed it. <clears throat> Looking for a weapon? Looking for cash, Let's baby. Let's see what you've got. Here's what I've got. Ditch these already at 100 caps. That's victory. She doesn't have a ton of ammo. We'll just take the money for now. But for level level 20 under five deaths oh my gosh no <laughs> no see i have to regulate the gambling like vegas and try to come up with a reasonable odds two gears one ceramic no we need this one so we need three gears one screw one ceramic Oh, no idiot savant, by the way. Forgot to mention that. If anybody's not clued in, I don't want to take idiot savant. It really has just started to bore me the last few times we've done Fallout 4 stuff. It just, it feels, it's, it's too obvious of a perk. Especially when, you know, trying to get things done fairly quickly or make a video on it, stuff like that. 
if I don't use Idiot Savant, it forces me to engage with the game in different ways. That's all. Personal preference. Um, but this is actually going to be a short one today. We're going to end it here today. Uh, I'm actually not going to be live tomorrow. We've been live the last three days in a row. I have a wedding tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll probably do one more stream on Sunday, and then that's all the footage that we're going to use for this video. Let's raid out and spread the good vibes send it over to somebody else if there's anybody else playing fallout or if anybody has any suggestions or people you think i could send you over to actually wait hold on let me just check my actual following list and see who's live currently Uh, let's see if there's anyone playing Skyrim. Let's do a Skyrim raid today. Because I think we did Fallout 4 yesterday. Do a Skyrim raid today, and I will send you over to... Da -da -da. I thought that was Lemmy for a second. Can you see chair? There you go. Ah. There's your chair for the day. Uh, but I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody who showed up. Hang out for just a second here, and let's do a nice little raid. Let's find... Yeah, let's find someone playing Skyrim. I'm going to scroll all the way to... Not quite the bottom, but... First playthrough. All right, we got someone doing their first playthrough of Skyrim. Doesn't look like they've been streaming for too long. So we're going to go over to Quiet Firehawk. Remember, be positive. Don't be rude. Don't be an asshole. Don't. Don't backseat like crazy. It's their first playthrough, so just let them enjoy it. Um, and that's all. I appreciate y'all. We'll talk soon. Have a good one. Love this challenge. This one is so damn fun.